Phil Ebener here with VideoSchoolOnline.com and another After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can create the 3D text style right within After Effects without using any plugin. While After Effects is a 2D program, you can still get this 3D look. And I'm gonna show you how to do it coming right up. All right, so here's the quick way to create 3D text that looks like this. I'm gonna delete these two layers to start from scratch. So all I have is a composition with a solid, a red solid in the background. So first you wanna create your text so we can type in whatever you want. Hello, something like that. Usually big, bold, sans serif fonts work generally well for uh, this kind of look. I'm just gonna use the align panel to align it to the center. Next, we wanna turn this into a 3D layer. You can do that by checking the 3D cube column right here or by right clicking and choosing 3D layer. And then drop down the options down to the geometry options and now we have this extrusion depth. So if we increase this to something like 150 or something, you'll start to see as it renders out that it extrudes or creates this sort of 3D look. Now, if you don't see that, it's probably going to prompt you to change your renderer and you see your renderer up here, up in here on the composition window. I'm using the Ray Trace 3D option. You might be on the classic 3D option. So go ahead and switch to Ray Trace, but notice that if you don't have a fast graphics card, this is gonna really bog down your computer and it's gonna be pretty slow. That being said, you should be able to see your 3D text now, but it doesn't look too 3D and that's because we have to add a light to create some shadow and depth to this to basically change the color and shading of the sides and edges of this text. So we can do that by going up to layer, new light. Just a spotlight is fine. Just make sure that it has the cast shadow option checked on, then click okay. And then as soon as that appears, you'll see that the text now looks a little bit 3D. You can move around the spotlight. You can change the light options to make it bigger or smaller. One thing I'm going to do is move it back, the position that is. So if you drop down the transform properties of the spotlight and you move it back, you get more light on this entire text. And this is just gonna be completely dependent on what you want it to look like. You can move the position of the light. You can move the point of interest with the actual buttons here on the composition itself. And this is going to change the way that the shadows actually look. You can even animate these settings. All of this is keyframable for both the light and also the position or the rotation of the text itself. So if we go into our transform tools of the text and we rotate the Y rotation back or something. Let's do this. We're gonna move our Y rotation back. Now our anchor point is in the bottom left, but if this was in the middle, it would rotate from the middle. And so now you can see that it rotates and you got this 3D text right within After Effects. If you want the background to have the light and the shadows applied to it, just click the 3D button for the background itself. If you don't see that 3D button, just click the toggle switches modes button to get those options. Now, if you see that and if you do that, what happens is it makes the text and the background on the same sort of plane of space, plane of 3D space that is. And so what you would want to do now is bring our hello text forward by pressing P for the hello text and then just dragging the Z space forward, something like negative 150 or more actually because we want this to appear before because we rotated it back. So if we go negative 500 for example, that's bringing the text actually closer to the camera and placing it in front of the backdrop or vice versa, in contrast, you can actually move the background back. So increasing this number for the Z space, but then when you do that, it's going to be smaller than your composition. So you wanna bring up the scale and increase the scale so that it fills the frame. So either of those options for basically separating the background for the foreground are perfectly fine. Cool, so as you can see, this is pretty render intensive for my computer, so hopefully you have a faster computer, but this is the quick and easy way 
to create 3D text right within After Effects. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.